Oh, why won't you look at that? They're up and at it early. Oh, another day in Africa. Don't smash the banana. Don't smash the banana. Good. Oh. So we still have to put some more dirt in these. They're putting dirt in the next one. And this was done yesterday. So we're making progress. Laura, what are we gonna do today? Okay. Fill in some holes. We're not digging them, we're filling them in. We're filling them in. It's the opposite plot line from the book Holes. Yeah, complete. Still builds character though. Lots of it. <laughs> So you're probably thinking, Caleb, you've worn the same shirt in all your movies so far while being in Zimbabwe. Why? And I'll tell you. The answer is, it's my work shirt. I've sweat through this thing so bad. It's pretty awful. But today, today is laundry day. work. These people know how to work. Seriously. They are up way before us and they will continue through the sun and just keep working. It's just they don't stop. It's really incredible actually and we come out here to do labor and I want to like not necessarily match the level of effort they put in but I definitely want to like not just sit down constantly. I want to do work. That's what we're here to do. There's a whole team is putting in a lot of effort. My name is Hanega, and I'm um, 28 years old. My favorite color is blue. <laughs> yeah! My name is Dumi. I turned 34 on the 4th of February. Whoop whoop! Yes, I celebrated my birthday in the bush. <laughs> it was uh, one of uh, one of those experiences. I actually enjoyed it with you guys around. You are such a great team. I enjoy your company. You are the best team. Oh, you stop! You're making me blush. <laughs> this is Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren Chuma. I'm 26 years old. I celebrated with Miss Better in the bushes as well. <laughs> for you guys love you all and guys from the community are coming in and helping shovel and do concrete stuff and they're they're working hardcore and it really puts us to shame for the first week or so i'd get tired they'd take the shovel from me and they wouldn't give it back i almost had to like fight to get the shovel back because they were so adamant not to mention they were fast and would, would never stop it was incredible so two days ago, I was feeling kind of iffy. Stomach issues, just feeling under the weather, and it really knocked me out for the count. So I woke up the next day feeling about 85% better, right? So I just came in straight away, and I just worked as hard as I could. And all the girls were like, trying not to be mom. And I told them, I will stop when I need to stop. And yet I pushed, and I pushed, and I pushed. I definitely laid off a little bit. Took more water breaks than usual, but it still wasn't as many water breaks as the rest of the team. And so I got some feedback for it. The perception was that I push myself to compare myself to the value of the work others do. And that I would find my worth in comparing myself to the level of work that the others do, which is why I work so hard. That was her perception, of course. But this is not the first time I've gotten feedback like this on the race. Um, so that's kind of interesting. I've also gotten the question a lot, do you still enjoy making videos? 
what are people trying to do to me right now? <laughs> it's like they're almost trying to discourage me from continuing to push forward. And I don't understand that. So I sat on it, took it to the Lord, and I got some interesting results. They perceived me pushing so hard so I could have value. But in reality, my value is already in Christ, right? I am holy, righteous, and perfect just because he says so. I don't have to do anything to get there. In fact, I could just sit on my lazy bum 24-7 and still be A-OK -okay in God's book. Yet, because I have that, it provides a foundation for me to stand back up on. So this foundation that I now can now stand back up on pushes me and propels me forward. Because it says, look at all these impossible things that you could possibly go for if you wanted to. And there comes the push. The push not to be good, but to be great. To strive for excellence in everything you do. And to push forward on that, even when you're not good at it, to keep trying over and over and over again. Because there really is no risk to failure because your value will always be the same. Holy, righteous, and perfect, right there. It's never ever gonna change. So you have nothing to risk, so you might as well push. However, the push can be insidious because it says when I do this or get this thing or when I have a wife or when I get a promotion, then I will have made it, right? You're never satisfied in the moment in these things and so you need to go get them in order to be happy. However, in reality, when you hit those goals, it's just the same as when you didn't have them. The mindset is still there and you'll never actually be happy. You constantly be striving for something else. So here's the kicker, because I know happiness is not found in achieving the goals. Yes, look back and say, look, look what I did. You can definitely do that. You can be grateful and thankful and see how far you've gone. And then you can push to the next thing, to the next project. I'm gonna go tell this world, hey, look what I can do. Look how awesome I am. Things won't make you happy. Promotions won't make you happy. Even achieving your goals probably won't make you that happy. And I'm not really searching for happiness. Happiness is already found in just the being, right? We're human beings, not human doings. However, that doesn't mean I have to not do things. Come on, what's life if you're not trying? Come on, live a little. Jump outside your comfort zone. Go for something you've always wanted. We live on planet Earth, for goodness sake. Come on, have dreams. Give yourself grace. No, you're not gonna be perfect. Uh, I'm, I'm still not the level I wanna be. My videos aren't the caliber I want them. My relationships, I'm still working through it. I'm still not as self-actualized as I want to be. I have to push through my uncomfortable situations. The only certainty is uncertainty. And that's the fun part, right? Ooh, look how gross that water is. The joy about feedback is that it shows you what other people are seeing. And yeah, I hate the image of them working and us sitting. I absolutely hate it. So I'm gonna push. I'm gonna show them, hey, I can keep up. Don't worry about me, I got this. Even if it's little things. One wheelbarrow at a time. I'm doing laundry, but it looks like a storm's gonna come. <sighs> that means the power's gonna be out again. If you have dreams, I wanna hear about it. Comment below. If you have ambitions, come on. I wanna hear about it down below. If you're scared of something and you don't know how to go about it, come on. Tell us about it down below. Yes, I actually do do laundry on the race, so if you could just give a thumbs up to clean laundry, that'd be great. I'm gonna end this here. Go ahead, like, subscribe, do the thing you do. Talk to you next time.